this is what Rope Drop looks like when you are <laughs> later than you want it to be. When Amy and I came, we were at the front of the pack. Looks like they're letting people in now. Let me see ya. Look how cute you look. It's really hot already. I am sweating if you can't tell. Park hasn't opened yet. It is 822. So we made early entry a little bit later than we wanted to. So we're kind of far back, but the line moves fast. So as I was getting out of the hotel room this morning, hubby calls me. Please. Some nice lady on the bus gave her a pixie dust bag and this was in it. So that's fun for me. So ignore the horn in the background. So I'm trying to get out of the hotel room this morning and hubby calls me. He's like, did you get an email from the school? And I was like, I don't get email notifications. I don't know. Well, he went to drop man cub off at the babysitter to get on the bus this morning. And when he was leaving the neighborhood, he got an email that our school system had a lot of threats to teachers. So they're closing school for the day and like all after school activities and stuff. So like pretty soon after that, I get a call, like a robo call from the school. Hold on, baby. A squirrel dropped the acorn at me. Oh no. So pretty soon after that, I get a robo call from the school saying that schools across the parish are canceled for the day. Um, yeah, he was already on the way to work. So thankfully we have an awesome after school sitter. And she was like, he called her and she was like, yeah, I've already gotten a heads up from some teachers I know. Um, don't worry about it. I've got them for the day. I'll just keep them all day for you. I've got my grandson too. They can play together. So I feel like every time I try to leave, something happens. And he said Man Cup was having a meltdown this morning when he was dropping them off because he's probably out of his normal morning routine that I do with them in the morning because usually I get them on the bus in the morning. And he thinks that when mama goes out of town, he doesn't have to go to school that day. Well, turns out he was right. <laughs> so he just gets to hang out with the sitter all day and her grandson. But yeah, luckily she's awesome and said that she can keep him all day so he's not missing a day work for it. But it's a fun world we live in these days. Yeah, look how cool this little bag is. She got pixie dusted with by a nice lady on the bus. It came with a little mini LCD writing pad. That's really cool, huh? Yeah. Ooh, little blower and like a little I bracelet. <laughs> Slinky dog, you ready?
up. <laughs> been loving that bubble blower. Alright, Slinky Dog down, heading on to Alien. Gotta park the stroller on solar parking. Hop out, hop out, hop out, hop out, leave it. This way. My frozen ears stay there. Yeah. All right, you ready? This is the cutest cue. Let's see, what time is it? 8.56. Got four minutes till park opens. to do her favorite ride. We stopped to get some really cute pictures and I will insert those for you right here. But yeah, I've got a, a lane booked for it and we're gonna go let her hair fly up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror. and asked us if we wanted to go again. Okay, just one second with that. Hold on. And uh, she had literally just asked me when the ride stopped, I want to go again. So they grabbed us and they put us up a secret elevator and we got right back on the ride and did it again. And it was amazing. <laughs> this little girl loves it. And she's my kid because that's my favorite ride until Guardians came out. <laughs> but it is very hot. Um, we've got booked Mickey and Minnie's. We're going to go do that real quick. And then we might take a break. Just got her a necklace from Tower of Terror too. She's been asking for a necklace. It's a brand new necklace. Yeah. Are we gonna go on a runaway train? Yeah. Crazy Goofy's gonna drive it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, Goofy, Goofy. She's trying all the hands. Kermit's more your size. I think your hands are bigger than Kermit's. You got bigger hands than Kermit. These are too little. Yep. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> That's Mickey Mouse. What about Minnie Mouse? Minnie Mouse is over here. Right there. She got bigger hands than you, huh? All right, you ready to go ride? these good people into the cartoon want to fix this here old people we
relaxing ride around the park. And thanks for sticking with me. Hey, picnickers! Told you nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> His little legs going. We got some fresh Whoa, popcorn. Look right over there. What? Oh, yeah, that's gross. People are nasty. That's rude. It's hot. It's hot. That's more than a glisten. <laughs> Figure we take a little break and then we're gonna go find some lunch after this. It is about 11 o'clock now. He fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? A beast is sad. Yeah. Stop for lunch at one of my go-tos, which is ABC Commissary. A lot of people I feel like don't go to this one, but I've got the kids meal pork taco with rice and beans, and then I got the arugula salad. This is like my favorite salad on Disney property, and it's $4 as a side. We's got some black beans and some french fries and some ranch. Y'all know my girl loves ranch and an apple juice. And then I asked for um, some ice. And she just gave me a cup to put ice in, so I put some ice in our water bottles to chill the water. <laughs> I want another bag. We can get some more ice. You can't tell by the sweat stash. It's so hot outside, guys. <laughs> Look at this face. What is that for? <laughs> That's, angry That's your angry don't face. Don't have any ice. Okay, we can get you some more ice when we're done. <laughs> This kid, y'all. I don't even know what to do with her. Are those good beans? My girl likes black beans, huh? Not too big of a bite, just little bites at a time. Is it good? Mama's got some too. Mmm. <laughs>
I got the new one that has like syrup and they call it cereal candy, but it looks like nerds. It was a dollar more, so I figured why not? Hold on, baby. And I'm going to gonna put some into this cup that I have my iced coffee in this morning. Some for mama, some for me. Uh, a little bit of syrup and candy. Oh, that's too sweet. She's gonna love it though. All right, so we're blue milking it. Is that good? And we're gonna head back to the hotel for a break because it's insanely hot. And we'll see y'all when we come back. Take a picture, Weeze. All right. Good job, Weeze. You give Buzz a hug. Oh. Bye, Buzz. I just caught that on camera. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great for the future. All right, heading back into Hollywood Studios. The skies, it's, it's touch and go. We'll see, I told her, I was like, you know what, we might just get wet. So I repacked the backpack minimally and I've got the stroller cover on already, ready to go. So we'll see. All right, Weez. Hop out. Other way. Yes, clouds are looking a little bit iffy. We'll see. <laughs> you tell Chewbacca that you got a puppy dog that looks just like him? Yeah, His na her name is Saki Dog, <laughs> but she definitely looks like a Wookiee, huh? Yeah, you give Chewbacca a hug. 
<laughs> Say nice to meet you, Chewie. This way. Good job. Meet a robot. Say hi, BB-8. What's going on? Wow. What do you think about robots? Parrot. Okay. <laughs> to Galaxy's Edge we go. I love the walls. So cool. And just like that, we're in that too. Uh oh, guys, the witch froze her. All right, bye, witch. I got the rain cover on the stroller just in case. This gorgeous view. <laughs> Just living her best life. All right, come see. She just held her glow sticks up and said, Mickey ears. She got a hidden Mickey. So I cheated and I left right after the character boat passed us because we we're all the way on that end and headed out to try to beat the crowds to the bus because I can't hold her the whole time and I didn't bring up piece because I didn't want it to rain on us. So we are booking it ahead of the masses. She made a Mickey out of those because she saw the Mickey. Mickey again. All right. The dreaded end of the night bus wait. So we sacked out on the bus. I managed to get the backpack on my shoulders, hold her head up while I got up to put the backpack on, grabbed her sleeping dead weight. <laughs> off the bus and the stroller y'all I'm telling you I cannot sing praises enough for the stroller because when it's collapsed I literally grabbed it by the handle like this to get it off the bus had her and my other arm like against my body had this in front of me as soon as I step off the bus push the thumb button push the trigger button popped it open got her in it and then unzipped the bottom to lay her down like I'm telling you, if you have just one kid, I can't recommend this dang thing enough. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Made it through the night. I'm very glad we went back. 
I was contemplating it because the forecast said it was going to be storming from like 5 p.m. to almost 8 and Fantasmic started at 8 30 but like we went outside and it was a little bit cloudy and kind of spitting a little bit but not like I was like I don't want to wake her up but not like crazy so I was like you know what we're just gonna do it because we're sleeping in tomorrow morning um tomorrow is our Halloween party day and because she doesn't have an annual pass, she just has like that four day magic ticket or whatever. Um, I'm using the party day as like her rest day because we can't get into another park because of like the way the, the day's lined up. I'm, I'm blabbering, I'm tired. <laughs> so anyway, we're sleeping in tomorrow. And I was like, you know what? She's been wanting to go to on Tower of Terror one more time before we leave. Like she was gonna be very upset if she didn't get to do it again. So I was like, all right, Weez, you got a choice. We can either stay here at the hotel, which she was getting, she was getting very stir crazy. My kid is not a napper. Like neither of my children have naps since they turn two. So our like break time in the middle of the day and coming back to the hotel is not nap time for us. It's mama and or whoever else I'm with, like trying to relax and detox and them just running rampant and destroying things. <laughs> so I took her to go kind of like run around the the hotel for a little bit, played on the playground for a minute, that kind of stuff. Uh, got a little dinner at quick service, which she nibbled at, but yeah. So <laughs> told her, I was like, you got a choice, Wheeze. We can either stay here or we can go back to the park, ride Tower of Terror one more time, maybe see the Mickey and the Dragon show because she saw the billboard for, fan billboard for Fantasmic, um, like right before you get to Tower of Terror entrance and she was very curious about it she was like I want to go and I was like okay here's the thing we might get wet it might be raining it's okay we've got water shoes we've got ponchos you've got a rain cover for the stroller like we can go but just know like we might get wet a little bit and she's like yeah I like getting wet let's go I was like all right you know what let's go let's do it it's summertime it's not like we're gonna catch a cold it's not freezing outside so we went and it only ended up like spitting just a little bit on us at one point like I did put the stroller cover on when we did Smuggler's Run and came out to it a little bit damp. But other than that, like, it really didn't rain. So, knock on wood. That's good. I'm used to hearing dogs bark when I do that. <laughs> but yeah, so we made it through Fantasmic. I did cheat. And as soon as, like, because we sat all the way on the amphitheater to this side. So as soon as the character boat came out and it comes out on that side and made it past us, I was like, all right, girl, let's go. And we were in the front row. So she she did her little legs. She took off, she was going faster than me. So we went all the way up the stairs to stroller parking and went that exit, which the last couple of times I've been pushed to the exit by Tower of Terror, which takes longer. So we were actually pushed that way, which popped out before Tower of Terror, like at the middle of Sunset Boulevard. So we were pretty far ahead of the game and we booked it to the bus. Well, I booked it to the bus and pushed her. And we got there, there was a crowd waiting like for the bus to come whenever we got there, but it wasn't like that many people. So we got a seat and as soon as that bus started moving, she put her head on my shoulder and passed out. So now I've got to figure out how to wipe her down and get her changed because we are funky. <laughs> it's gonna be delightful. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, it was kind of a slower paced day. Wasn't like we didn't go, 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 go. We rope dropped pretty hard and got breakfast. And then after lunch, we kind of, or we got lunch. After lunch, we kind of just like chilled. And then we took a very long break back at the hotel. We took like a three, four hour break before we went back and did a couple of things when we went back. So I think we had a pretty successful day. So thank you guys for watching and following along. Hope these videos are helpful for you if you're planning a trip with little ones and again I always like to add in the caveat please don't have expectation that your kid is gonna be like my kid because my kids are fearless and they do anything like you might have a kid that doesn't like rides so just be prepared to go with the flow if your kid doesn't like rides plan for shows you know have a backup plan just let them play which unfortunately Hollywood Studios doesn't have a playground she kept asking for one but all of the other parks do so you know just have a have a contingency plan just in case but hopefully these videos are helpful helpful for you for planning your trips with little ones make sure you give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe hit that notification bell follow along for my channel for more disney content coming at you bye guys